Hello everyone, my name is Joseph. I'm a member of staff here of, um, from Anslow Council, I'm based in, with the visitor experience team um, as part of the wider historic houses team. Um, I've had um, quite a significant connection with the Ealing and Hounslow area. I mean, my um, maternal grandparents actually lived in Norfields um, on the sort of Ealing Hounslow uh, borough border. They they settled there in the nineteen sixties and um, bought their you know their place there. Um, settled there in the nineteen sixties when my um, maternal grandmother came over from Poland um, and met my um, maternal grandfather who'd been living in um, in England since uh, since World War Two after having um, settled here uh, after having fled um, Poland during the nineteen forties during the Second World War they met each other and settled in Northfields in the um, um, in around in the early nineteen sixties. And then um, it started a family, um, and my my mother was uh, raised in the sort of Northfields area. She went to school in the area, and um, I think she when she met my father, um, we also I think me and my uh, two older siblings were also raised in the area, um, and we I think we spent a lot of time going to see our grand our grandparents in Northfields um, and we also spent a lot of time going to um, um, Boston Manor Park which um, which was good because you know, it was a sort of lovely park on you know near our grandparents house and um, I think when I when I was born I think the Boston Manor house itself was um, I think it was I think in the early years of my life, it was still open to the public, but it um, I think it closed soon afterwards. I mean, my two older siblings do remember coming to the house when it was um, open in limited in uh, limited capacity in the air in the late nineties, nineteen nineties and early two thousands. But um, they uh, I think it closed soon afterwards. But I think I rem I certainly remember going to Boston Manor Park, um, sort of with my family, um, and sort of spending you know spent many happy memories in Boston Manor Playground, um, and the area, and I think um, just with my maternal grandparents as well, um, and I think it was just you know I think this park has held, and area has been you know real held a lot of um, you know, positive memories for me and I think the fact that um, I recently was able to gain employment in the uh, sort of historic houses team um, at Hounslow Council um, um, and one of the two um, historic sites that I'm based at is Boston Manor House itself has been quite uh, an interesting opportunity because that has meant that I've, um, you know, I've been able to go work at a um, sort of historic property and a place of cultural significance um, that is that holds a lot of significance to me. It's, uh, you know, next, it's next to Boston Manor Park, which holds a lot of, um, you know, valuable and cherished mem uh, memories for me. And I think the fact that I'm able to, um, you know, work at Boston Manor House um, and when the house eventually opens, you know, the fact that I will have the chance to uh, welcome, you know, members of the public from the hands of the community into, into the park and, you know, well, from the park into the house uh, and, you know, help them create sort of happy memories of their own from visiting the house, the house and the surrounding area is, uh, you know, it's definitely going to be a valuable experience for me. I think my grandparents would be proud that I, you know, able to sort of bring something to the local area and um, um, support the local community by um, by um, you know uh, staffing the house and making sure that when the, the house uh, Boston Manor the house opens to the public in a few months' time, 
um, to make sure that um, that they, you know, people will make the most of, of their experience of visiting the house and, um, you know, enjoy it.